The Trojan Football Report is presented by Montgomery Regional Airport Connections. Convenience, the rest is easy. Fly Montgomery. Troy University. Since 1887, Troy University has educated the mind to think, the heart to feel, and the body to act. If you are called to serve a greater purpose, visit troy.edu. And by Yellowwood Brand Pressure Treated Pine. If it doesn't have the yellow tag, you don't want it. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Trojan Football Report with head coach Larry Blakeney. I'm Barry McKnight. Fans got treated to a classic football game as Troy beats South Alabama 34 to 33. Coach, you mentioned earlier in the week that it's a great game to watch if you're a fan, but it's awfully touch if you've got to coach a game like yeah, that. Yeah, I tell you what, it's a, if you're one of those New Wave fans, it might have been a great game. For some of those old folks, it, it was a mighty nerve-wracking to to uh, deal with, but uh, uh, you know, I've, I've stated a lot of times about South Al Alabama's uh, evolution as a football program and Joey Jones' leadership and the staff and the recruiting and, uh, and, and the way they set up their first two years of scheduling, and, and they've been an impact already, and they will, they will be, uh, they can beat anybody in our league uh, right now. Well, your team got off to such a good start in the game, took a significant lead in the halftime, but they showed something, and your team as well at the very end when it counted, they showed something well, too. Well, you know, it was, a, it was a tough afternoon trying to stop those guys. I tell you, they, they played two quarterbacks, and Matheny, is a, he's a, he is something, man. And uh, the other guy's a big, strong guy that can run and throw. Of course, Matheny's not a bad runner either, as we saw later in the game when he went back in. But two, two really good players uh, that uh, were dealing the ball around to some guys that could really catch football run routes. Uh, and, and they had enough running game to keep us off balance also. As you'll be able to tell, it's a beautiful day for football. It's homecoming in Troy as we take a look at our first half highlights. Is set to kick it away right to left. It is tea time between Troy and South Alabama. Kick goes to Burks, a short one at the 15 yard line, far side to the 20. Disappears behind a couple of blockers, 25. Skirts to the outside, still fighting for yardage near that far boundary. They'll put him to rest near the 27 yard line. Anthony is in on second down and seven in South Alabama territory. Here's Sean Big Yardage, first down. He powers ahead into the 40, down to the 38 yard line. That's a 10 yard gain for the freshman. The motion man is the H back, Jared Lee. Handoff straight ahead. Goes to Burks. Burks running with authority. 30. Slips through a tackle to the 25 yard line. And From the 25 yard line. Option keeper Anthony. He's got the 20. Great block to the 15 yard line. Down to the 8 yard line. And for Anthony. He'll turn and want to throw to the end zone. Looks for his man. It's caught. Touchdown. Men of Troy. 7 0 Troy. Here's Matheny giving it away to Jones. He gets blown up again. Oh my gosh, huge loss. Credit that to the sophomore, Jadarius Garner. How do you do? Alabama now, Denham switches to the right side. They'll give it to him on an end sweep. He'll get knocked down and dragged to the turf by Terrace Lewis. Got fourth and two here. Here's a five man front. The quarterback will be uh, hit hard. Huge hit. He'll spin off that hit. He'll be short by a yard. He didn't get it. Here's Anthony wanting to throw here. They'll move on a stunt. He'll throw downfield. Looks for Thomas. E.T. makes the catch of the 20. Through a tackle of the 10. Foot race. Five. They won't get him. Touchdown. Men of Troy. Second down four. Robinson, the quarterback, gives it away to Burks again. Juking for the first down. Springs into the secondary. Down into the shield at midfield at the 50-yard line. In with him right to left. Robinson hands it away to Burks. Burks gets a big hole, steps through a tackle, first down, tumbling forward at the 31-yard line. Snap goes to Anthony, rolling right, wants to throw, looking for Jared Lee, looking, throwing on the run, trying to find Edenfield, got it, and out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Second down and 21, handoff goes to the outside to Burks. Burks has the 10, hit at the 7, powers to the 5. Snap, kick, and he got it. Settled into the slot right. Robinson has time, loads up, throws downfield, got a man, Holmes! He's got it! Into the 10 yard line or thereabouts. Beautiful play by Robinson. We hope you enjoyed the first half highlights. When we come back, Coach Larry Blakeney and I will talk about senior wide receiver Wilson Van Hooser. He's our player feature next on the Trojan Football Report. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away. Work away. 
We'll haul that lumber, lift that frame, sing a little song and do it all again. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away. It's college football season, and the orders are pouring in. Sales spike, I'm happy. Profits up, I'm happy. Millions of fans, no time. I'm nervous. Can we handle the logistics? Use UPS. Digital tracking, proactive alerts, less paperwork. We save time, customers get what they need. Everybody's happy. Hey! Buckeye's happy. Gator's happy. Hog's happy. I'm happy. 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 It's a win. 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 Win! I love logistics. To become a champion, you have to make smart choices. Choices like formulating a plan, setting goals, working hard, staying disciplined, and being an example to others. Take travel choices. I choose to fly from Montgomery Regional Airport. It connects me to my destinations, gives our region's economy a lift, provides fast personal service, and the rest is easy. I'm Coach Larry Blakeney. I fly Montgomery. Do you have unexpected bills? Need cash now? Let Title Max turn your car title into cash. With Title Max, gets $1,000, $3,000, $6,000, even $10,000. Title Max gets you the most cash, the lowest rates, with instant approval. Your car title is your credit. And Title Max gets you the cash you need in 30 minutes or less. So if you need help paying your bills, bring your car title to Title Max, and you too will say, I got my title back with Title Max. A lot of people in and around the Troy area who follow high school football, they knew the Van Hooser name. And right. of course, Bill Van Hooser, great guy. He's got two youngsters out of Montgomery that play college football. Uh, Wilson Van Hooser, our spotlight player, started at Tulane. Right. And he's finishing up here at Troy and a quality, quality young man. Well, he really is. Uh, high caliber, high character, you know, uh, is involved. Uh, uh, heavily with the FCA and with uh, with uh, uh, this team, uh, he he never passes up an opportunity to exert himself as a leader or a good influence. And uh, you know he's the kind of guy you want to have on your football team. And uh, and he plays uh, plays hard and can run. He's doing uh, kickoff and and punt returns for us. And so he's uh, he's uh, exerted himself to be a, a very valuable member of our football our, of our skill part of our football team. He, of course, a, a Tulane transfer. He graduated from Tulane, had eligibility remaining. And a lot of times you take a chance on a kid like that, but there's not much chance no. to take with a guy like no, that. He's, he him. was, uh, we knew we wanted him in the program if we, if we could, uh, you know, work it out through all the NCAA uh, guidelines. And certainly it was a, a, a no-brainer for us to take Wilson Van Hooser. From an impressive family, an impressive young man, and a great, great addition to the Troy football program, let's spend a little time with Troy senior wide receiver Wilson Van Hooser. Wilson Van Hooser, uh, senior wide receiver in Montgomery, Alabama. It was just, it was mainly because my mom, uh, she's had she had a little back problems over the past seven, eight years, um, and she's had uh, I think eight or nine surgeries, procedures, um, and so I, I felt like with getting my degree. Um, I felt like it was, very, uh, it was a hard decision, but it was a very mature and an adult decision that I needed to make. I needed to go back and I needed to be a son. Um, you know, even though I had to have these dreams and aspirations of, uh, you know, of helping the Tulane program develop, and I wanted to make it to the NFL. Um, but I knew I needed to, uh, you know, obey God's calling. I needed to go be a son and take care of my mom. You know, from the young guys to the older guys, they've just been really welcoming. Um, and if it wasn't for them, you know, it, it would have been it would have been a struggle, um, you know, to make that transition smooth. Um, but from day one, they've just been so welcoming, uh, helping me out with the plays, helping me out um, just with everything on campus, and really just you know quickly just forming a brotherhood uh, and forming a friendship. Growing up watching Troy, I remember, um, you know, throughout the years being in high school, you know, I I know like the type of reputation that Troy has, and um, you know, and people expect championships around here. Um, and so when I was, you know, decided I needed to come back closer to home, I knew Troy was going to be a good place for me. The choices we make today will impact tomorrow. Choosing natural gas today is the responsible energy choice for your home, your family, and our environment. Almost all natural gas we use is produced right here in North America. 
And with plentiful gas reserves, we can enjoy a safe and reliable energy future. Natural gas, the comfortable and responsible energy choice for today and tomorrow. The beautiful city of Troy welcomes you to visit and see what Troy has to offer. Historic homes, the Pioneer Museum of Alabama, Pike County Lake, Troy University, state-of-the-art sports facility, Alabama Bandmasters Hall of Fame, public golf course and tennis courts, and first-class accommodations. Troy, Alabama, a wonderful place to live and visit. To leave a legacy of education to future Troy University students is a truly special gift. The Troy Shield Society recognizes some amazing people who've chosen to include Troy in their estate planning. We will be a great university as a result of the generosity given by those people who truly love and support our institution. Hundreds of Troy supporters have already joined the Shield Society. Please pledge your support and help ensure a world of opportunities for tomorrow's Troy students today. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. We'll haul that lumber, lift that frame, sing a little song and do it all again. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away. At homecoming, Troy took the 17-7 lead into halftime against South Alabama. A 10-point lead at halftime, Larry. What do you tell your team at that point? Well, you know, we uh, we were going to have to kick off to that, that, that group on offense, and we, they'd already shown us some pretty uh, good firepower. And uh, so we certainly needed to, to have a good uh, start, and that started with kicking game, and, that's, and then it started with the defense. and. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, the, my blurred memory of the game, uh, you know, we, we hung in there and we were hanging on to and trying to make sure and extend, tried to extend the lead and, and then they got back in it and of course, we gave up some big, some big plays. The quarterback draw was, and we've talked about it since the game, but you need to be able to play with 12 on defense this day and age. And uh, uh, because you can't hit anybody anymore, <laughs> you gotta dra drag them down. But, uh, uh, you know, when we, but 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 uh, they, they had some big plays, throwing and catching the football. Really, I thought as good as I've seen at, across the board, throwing and catching the football, both quarterbacks. But if you think Matheny can't throw, <laughs> you need to take another look. And the big boy, number seven, uh, Brandon Bridge, Bridge can can do it all uh, also, and they both can run enough to to scare you to death with quarterback draw and uh, quarterback power, uh, the, the, all the uh, read plays that the quarterback has. So, so, you know, we, we needed to get off a good start and, like I said, blurred in my vision right now, but uh, I can tell you a lot about the last two minutes. <laughs> so, With the uh, last two minutes, of course, were the points upon which the game swung, and as a matter of fact, the game swung a couple of times on a couple of points in the last two minutes. Let's take a look at our second half highlights. And then sweep to Brandon Brooks. Brooks shooting to the 45 yard line. They grab the headgear. Second down, Robinson to throw. Looks to the end zone. Tries to find his man. Adjustment. Eric Thomas got it at the five and out of bounds. That's a great adjustment by E.T. Robinson on the pistol. Goes to the near side. Looks for his man. That's what holds. An amazing catch. Touchdown. He keeps it himself. He'll move towards the line of scrimmage. No, 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 no he didn't get it. No, he didn't get it. He got blasted again. This time, hello, Cameron Hudson. Wow. The simple handoff goes to Burks. He's been terrific, and he's got extra room into the second level to the third level. Finally down to the 34-yard line. Snap down. Kick is away, and it's good. Snap comes back to Matheny. Trojans will bull rush him. Go to the far side. Is knocked away and caught by South Alabama. He's going to go for the touchdown. That's Jeremy Jones. South Alabama leads it 33 to 27 in the waning minute of regulation. Deep kick goes to Van Hooser at the three. 
He's at the 15, 20, 25, tumbles ahead to the 29, maybe the 30-yard line with 42 seconds to go. Again, Jags rush three. Robinson throws near side, looks for his receiver. Nice catch, Chris Williams, and out of bounds. Corey Robinson, snap back, three-man rush. Corey, ready, ready, throws to the near side, tries to find Burks, catching out of bounds. Great play, and Burks is hurt. Here comes South Alabama on the blitz. Robinson throws to the end zone, looks for E.T. He's got it! He's got it! On a penalty play! Absolutely spectacular! Eric Thomas, touchdown! Man of Troy! Snap, down, kick, up. He got it! Trojans, 34. Jags, 33. And here comes the final play of the game. Bridge is in trouble. He's going to be under pressure from Dion Lee. He'll load up and he'll throw downfield as far as he can. And it is knocked away and caught by South Alabama at the 18-yard line. It's loose on the ground. It is covered up by the Jaguars. And this one belongs incredibly to the Trojans. So the Trojans win in a classic football game over South Alabama. When we come back, we'll talk with Troy offensive coordinator and inside wide receivers coach Kenny Edenfield on the Trojan football report. Do you have unexpected bills? Need cash now? Let Title Max turn your car title into cash. With Title Max, gets $1,000, $3,000, $6,000, even $10,000. Title Max gets you the most cash, the lowest rates, with instant approval. Your car title is your credit. And Title Max gets you the cash you need in 30 minutes or less. So if you need help paying your bills, bring your car title to Title Max. And you too will say, I got my title back with Title Max. It's college football season, and the orders are pouring in. Sales spike, I'm happy. Profits up, I'm happy. Millions of fans, no time, I'm nervous. Can we handle the logistics? Use UPS. Digital tracking, proactive alerts, less paperwork. We save time, customers get what they need. Everybody's happy. Hey! Buckeye's happy. Gator's happy. Hog's happy. I'm happy. 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 It's a win. 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 Win! I love logistics. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. We'll haul that lumber, lift that frame, sing a little song and do it all again. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away. To become a champion, you have to make smart choices. Choices like formulating a plan, setting goals, working hard, staying disciplined, and being an example to others. Take travel choices. I choose to fly from Montgomery Regional Airport. It connects me to my destinations, gives our region's economy a lift, provides fast personal service, and the rest is easy. I'm Coach Larry Blakeney. I fly Montgomery. Welcome back to the Trojan Football Report. Inside wide receivers coach and offensive coordinator Kenny Edenfield joins us here in this segment. Kenny, we've got to ask you about the closing minutes of the South Alabama game. As a play caller, as a coordinator, everybody in the stadium, it seems, is just boiling with emotion. You've got to keep your you know, your wits about you and you've got to you've got to call plays. What's the focus at that point? Well, we, we have a really great offensive staff, as I've mentioned many a times, and, and we work these scenarios. But, you know, everybody said the same thing. Let's run four verticals. Let's try to get the ball to three. Uh, expect them to blitz probably five or six guys coming. So we knew what we were going to go to. It's already planned pre beforehand. The keys for that play, for the, for the you, you mentioned three, of course, that's Eric Thomas. The keys for that game winning play as the play is called what all is happening? What all have you got to account for? Well, first of all, you have to know that, you know, they're going to bring a lot more than you can block. We only have five offensive linemen and a running back when you got four wide receivers. So we can block six guys. They brought seven. So there's one that can't be accounted for. So it, that means you got to make a quick decision. So Corey was able to make a quick decision. All four guys, three of the four guys won their routes, mm -hmm. you know, so he could have gone a lot of places, but we had basically told him, make sure you got it to three and give him a chance. Trojans get the win. They get a little momentum heading on the road. The offense has been at the top of the league statistically all season long. Talk a little bit about what 
still is out there for this offense to grab? What else can be can be cleaned up and polished? First time I've been on the show, and it took a last second win to get on here, <laughs> and we've been playing pretty good at times. That's no, exactly. um, just joking around. Seriously, you know our guys. I mean, we we have two quarterbacks and a couple of senior wide receivers, but the rest of the guys haven't played a lot of football. So they're still learning as we go. We're still making some little mistakes that we got to get corrected. But the thing I've been most proud about is, is I think they're trying to protect the ball. Um, we've, we've used a lot more sets this year than we have in the past. They've adjusted well to that. We've had to do that to try to help our running game a little bit and to try to, you know, take some time. Um, we want to get to playing fast. It's hard to do that when you sub a lot, so maybe this week we can sub a little faster and sub a little less. That was leading into my next question, the running game. You and I have talked before about losing you know, three senior running backs from last year, four, four senior running backs from last year, and an entirely new group just about. The running game has been um, has been an evolutionary thing for you. It seems to be getting better and better. And yeah, Brandon it's Burks been good. Um, Brandon's really done a great job. You know, he, he played a little last year, but didn't get to run the ball any. Right. So, you know, he played on special teams. So, you know, it's getting better each week. Uh, our line, you know, is getting comfortable with what they can do. We're feeling what they can do. And, you know, it's just making things fit together. You know, Dion's had a good package there. It's been a little unfair to Dion because we've had to play him a little bit more in a running role than we would like to. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That was my next question about Dion and the way you assimilate the offense. But so far, so good. Good luck the rest of the way. Appreciate it. Very Thanks. The offensive coordinator, Kenny Edenfield. Stand by. Lots more still to come as we continue on with the Trojan football. Paul report. To leave a legacy of education to future Troy University students is a truly special gift. The Troy Shield Society recognizes some amazing people who've chosen to include Troy in their estate planning. We will be a great university as a result of the generosity given by those people who truly love and support our institution. Hundreds of Troy supporters have already joined the Shield Society. Please pledge your support and help ensure a world of opportunities for tomorrow's Troy students today. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away, work away. We'll haul that lumber, lift that frame, sing a little song and do it all again. The sun comes up and the sun goes down. Work away. choices we make today will impact tomorrow. Choosing natural gas today is the responsible energy choice for your home, your family, and our environment. Almost all natural gas we use is produced right here in North America. And with plentiful gas reserves, we can enjoy a safe and reliable energy future. Natural gas, the comfortable and responsible energy choice for today and tomorrow. The beautiful city of Troy welcomes you to visit and see what Troy has to offer. Historic homes, the Pioneer Museum of Alabama, Pike County Lake, Troy University, state-of-the-art sports facility, Alabama Bandmasters Hall of Fame, public golf course and tennis courts, and first-class accommodations. Troy, Alabama, a wonderful place to live and visit. Time now to take a look at what we like to call our Trojan Top 5, the top five plays from Troy's win over South Alabama. There's a lot more than five critical plays in that game, but here are the top ones from Saturday. Robinson has time, loads up, throws downfield, got a man, Holmes! He's got it into the 10-yard line or thereabouts. Beautiful play by Robinson. As they've got fourth and two here. Here's a five-man front. The quarterback will be uh, hit hard. Huge hit. He'll spin off that hit. He'll be short by a yard. He didn't get it. Robinson on the pistol. Goes to the near side. Looks for his man. That's Rook Holmes. An amazing catch. Touchdown. Wow. Kadarius Ford was draped on him like a cheap suit. And Holmes was still able to reach up and snag it. Touchdown. Man of Troy. Here's Anthony wanting to throw here. They'll move on a stunt. He'll throw downfield. Looks for Thomas. ET makes the catch of the 20. Through a tackle to the 10. Foot race. Five. They won't get him. Touchdown. Men of Troy. 
Here comes South Alabama on the blitz. Robinson throws to the end zone, looks for E.T. He's got it! He's got it! On a penalty play! Absolutely spectacular! Eric Thomas, touchdown! Men of Troy! Boy, wow! They brought the house, Barry, and Robinson did a great job lobbing it up there. Trusting Thomas to make the play. That penalty's gonna be defensive interference. He literally grabbed him and pulled him down, and Thomas still made the play. As precarious as the outcome uh, looked like it was going to be for your club, Troy salts away the win over South Alabama, evens the record at three and three, gets a Sun Belt uh, win for your club, and maybe a little momentum getting into Georgia State on Saturday. Well, we need some momentum, and uh, you know we need to get us a road win. You know we don't have one of those, and uh, uh, Georgia State in the dome should be should excite our players. You know and. Uh, uh, I hope it does. I, I really think Trent Miles, uh, from what I've seen on tape and what they're doing offensively and defensively, you know, this program will be where they want it to be in a short period of time with all the recruits, recruiting availability to, to uh, uh, Georgia State or around Metro Atlanta and, and the state of Georgia. And, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot of ball players out there. Larry, almost to a man, every player we talked to about the mindset in that closing drive against South Alabama thought that the the overall aspect of that drive was minimized by the fact that you practice it all the time, you prepare for it all the time. That level of attention to detail and preparation needs to continue, obviously. Well, we, we we use the open sets and throw the football and. Plus, uh, every Sunday and, and Thursday we work on uh, a particular situation. We probably worked on that 48 or 50 seconds with one or two timeouts, whatever we had. And, right. uh, uh, so, you know, we do put time in on it and prepare. And so you can at least trigger, we've done this, we've right. done this. And then they'll say, we can do this. And then, you know, they start start to work. And if something maybe happens good early, you. You, you can do. Georgia State, certainly a challenge on the road at the Georgia Dome. It's a 2.30 Central Time start. We hope you get a chance to be out there and root the Trojans on. And also, as always, we hope you get a chance to join us next time for another edition of the Trojan Football Report. For more Troy Athletics, find us on Facebook and Twitter. The Trojan Football Report is presented by Montgomery Regional Airport Connections. Convenience, the rest is easy. Fly Montgomery. Troy University. Since 1887, Troy University has educated the mind to think, the heart to feel, and the body to act. If you are called to serve a greater purpose, visit troy.edu. And by Yellowwood Brand Pressure Treated Pine. If it doesn't have the yellow tag, you don't want it.